Adding a waveform to your video can be an amazing way to keep your viewers' attention, especially if you want to convert an audio file like a podcast episode into a postable clip. Today, I'll show you how to do that using the video creation workspace Kapoing. Click the link in the description because the first thing that you're going to need to do is upload your files. When you click on the link in the bio, you will be taken to Kapoing. Then click here, and now you can upload either from your device or from a URL link. Now it's time to add a waveform. To do this, go to the Elements tab on the sidebar on the left, and then scroll down until you see the two common types of waveforms. Cosmetically, they look different, but they function the same, so choose whichever one fits the style you prefer, and it will take you to this page. Since you've already uploaded, your file should appear under Select a File, but if you record audio and video separately or want to use a different audio than you imported, you can go ahead and click to Upload Audio. Once that's done, you will see it reflected in the editor. But to make it look just the way you want it, here is how to color and resize them. When you click on the waveform, you will see blue dots appear on the corners. Click and drag the dots to resize the waveform however you want, and then click and drag the actual waveform to place it where you want on the page. Next, go to the menu on the right and find Fill Color. You can choose from common presets or click on the color number itself to customize the color however you want, then click Select. To add a progress bar, go to the Elements tab on the left and scroll down to Progress Bar. Click the one you like and it will automatically add to your clip. A progress bar will move along the bottom of the screen so your audience knows where they are in the length of your video, which can be a cool and informational asset to add to your projects. But another quick way to add a waveform all in one click is using Kapwing's Magic Create. Go to the top of the right-hand menu, and under Smart Tools, you will see Magic Create. When you click it, you will see a ton of different generated options for waveforms with different subtitles, progress bars, and aspect ratios for social media. Just click Apply to Project, and it will add everything you need. Last but not least, here is how to export your project. Go to the top right-hand corner and click on Export Project. Choose your format, resolution, and compression level, and then click on export again. Your project will start exporting in the background. You can either watch its progress here or continue to work by clicking back on your canvas. Once it's done, it will appear in recent exports, and when you click download, it will download straight to your device. And that's it. Kapwing is a full studio editor, so you can not only add waveforms and other elements like that, but you can edit all of your content there with your team and expand your reach. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe for more tips on how to level up your content and happy editing.